Outside the power scrap, the mill closure, massive blow, of course, for regional New Zealand. You've got a couple of mills, 230 jobs, just like that. You've got the chateau problem ongoing. Fuck a papa, that's a mess. So the whole region's in real trouble. The Minister for Regional Development, the Associate Energy Minister as well, Shane Jones, is with us. Morning to you. Okay. Morning, is this folks. about power or is it about pulp and logs? Uh, we can't control in New Zealand, Mike, the commodity prices. We can't control foreign exchange. We can't control logistics at the end of the economic uh, railway line and world trade. One thing we can control, though, is the structure and the competitiveness of our power prices. And until such time, uh, we start to look at options of breaking up the power of these gentailers, who, quite frankly, have uh, ruled over various governments, intimidated them. But your last speaker... I think if there's one thing I agree with her, until we boost competitiveness, you're going to see uh, the aluminium sector telling me they're going to start importing. The corn growers are doubtful whether they're going to grow because they're, kind of, uh, they're worried about the cost of energy. And, of course, we've got Methanex briefing their staff today about uh, a substantial downgrade. Yeah, exactly. Uh, is the EA of any use to anybody whatsoever or not? No, I've described the EA as a chocolate teapot, um, and I stand by that because they've got all the powers in the world. But I suspect that they've been intimidated as well by the Gentailers. And look, it's up to you and I as Kiwis and your listeners. Do you want an economy where the price of power is internationally competitive to keep businesses functioning? Or do you want to disembowel your economy and turn it into an import model? I don't want that. Which is why Simeon Brown and I are signing off the, uh, signing off now the criteria and that criteria for the review of the power sector, will involve structural separation. Okay, so how are you going to do that and what time frame is that on? Because you're starting to, you got to, the rubber's hit the road now, it's real, so announcements don't cut it. When do you do something about the EA? When do you separate the gen tailors? Over what time oh, frame? In, in fairness to Simeon, he's already announced that uh, he's looking for a number of new members for the EA. I think the power has always been there. But look, mate, people have they had this nervousness. They've had this skitterishness. Don't touch the power system. We trusted the power system to deliver outcomes that boost international competitiveness and national security. They haven't, so we have to change it. Simple. And over what time frame, though? Because this is a here and now problem. Yes, and I, I, I'm not walking away from that, and that's a ghastly outcome um, for the people in Ohakuni in that area. But the power companies solved the problem for Rio Tinto. They had every opportunity and every incentive to come up with a solution for Winston. They tried hard, and um, I find it's a very ghastly outcome. But obviously, the review has been signed off in short order. The work's already taking place with the Commerce Commission and the EA. But hey, mate, uh, the reality is we're, un- we're having a crack at... Um, doing something remarkably different from the days of the mid-90s. And um, mm. we've, got to get, we've got to do it carefully so that we can bugger up the economy in the way that Jacinda and Megan Woods buggered up the, uh, uh, the gas industry with their juvenile announcement in 2018. Appreciate your time, Shane Jones.